Law enforcement departments face several challenges as the year comes to a close. Newswatch reporter Jake Karalexis joins us live in studio as we key in on one department overcoming the obstacles. Jake. Samantha, the Wyoming County Sheriff's Department is working harder than ever, dealing the results of an unprecedented year. Wyoming County Sheriff Bradley Ellison gets in his favorite department cruiser as we prepare to go on patrol. As we pull out of the station, he says he's increased patrols over the past few months and the entire department is stepping up. I do miss what, you know, this right here. I don't get to do it much now as a sheriff. Ellison is out on patrol because the department is short two to three deputies. It's been up to the entire department to step up to help fill the void and Ellison to help facilitate it. It's hard to find uh, bodies to come out and want to be police officer. Ellison and Lieutenant Randy Brooks are talking about the department schedule planning around the shortage in deputies. Brooks spends a lot of time in court, but if Ellison asks him to step into another role, he's always willing and able. We're not really laxing anywhere. Uh, everything's being done the way it's supposed to be done. Lieutenant Scott Cook usually works at Wyoming East High School, leading its security. Even after spending 27 years with the department, he says he's also willing to take on different roles if needed. We care so much about what we do. We take pride in what we do. I'm proud of all of them, and I'm proud to be a part of this department. After our successful patrol, Ellison tells me the camaraderie and communication within the department has been crucial to dealing with the deputy shortage, as well as threats in and around the county. you got to be professional in everything you do here. It's great, and I will always work for them and stand up for them. Ellison says the department is beginning the hiring process and hopes to be fully staffed early in 2022. Reporting live in studio, Jake Carolexis, Newswatch. All right, Jake, thank you.